deep breath in, blow it out, bring your toes up. What's up, guys? What's going on, guys? <laughs> oh, it's another Saturday morning. Nice and early. That could only mean one thing. Garage sale day. Garage sale day. Yay. Actually, today's gonna be kind of an exciting day. There's three major things happening today. The first thing <laughs> oh. is- I don't know. It's garage sale day. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and not only that, but there's two community sales within like five miles of our house. I knew that. Which is crazy! Ah! Yay! We love going to community sales because we can hit a whole bunch of garage sales at the same time. Usually they're not the best garage sales because it's just, you know, people putting a few things out here and there, but it's cool to be able to park and just walk to like, you know, 10 different garage sales. It's quantity over quality. Exactly. Thing number two, the hidden camera fanny pack <gasps> is back. You guys have been asking for it, so Yay. I got the GoPro loaded up in the fanny pack today. I'm gonna hopefully get some good footage. I don't know, but if I get some good stuff, you'll you'll see it. <laughs> and then the third thing today is I'm gonna go get my face cracked. <gasps> That's right. Super nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan has a deviated septum. Twice yeah. deviated. Uh, long story, but I was doing jujitsu and I took a knee to the nose and it cracked right in half. That's why my nose is crooked. <laughs> but yeah, so my nose is messed up. I can only breathe at, at like 30% if I'm lucky. So Allison's mom is a chiropractor. Allison's mom's friend. Long time friend and business partner of okay. many years. He's an amazing chiropractor. And he's he just started doing this new technique where they basically take I'm not a doctor obviously but they take a they take like mm -hmm. a balloon and they stick it in your nose in your sinus passages yeah and then inflate it and it like cracks your face off it's kind of it? like you put <laughs> earplugs in you know like the foam ones you roll them up real tight and you put them in your ears and then they open overnight and expand really wide you wake up the next day you pull them out and you're like oh that feels incredible right yes. So later on today, I'm gonna go have that done to my face for the first time ever, and we're gonna record the whole thing. And it's supposed to give you your breathing back. Ryan will take yeah. it 5% more. It's so yeah. bad. Anything I can do to fix it, it's either this or the alternative is I have to get my nose rebroken, straightened out, and they have to get in there and like. Rrr. Yeah, so it would be a rhinoplasty and a septoplasty. That, those Plasty, things. Plasty, whatever. <laughs> One of those. But anyway, that'll be later on in the day, so stay tuned for that. It should be an interesting time. But for now, garage sales. Garage sale time. Let's go find all the things. <laughs> how, how much? How much were you asking for the bags? The backpack? Oh, the laptop bags. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen a piece. So they've never been used. Would you take 20 for both of them? Oh, what'd you find? Oh. What's up? We're gonna wear chicken dinner. Oh, what's up? What's no. going on, man? What's going on? <laughs> oh my God. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> to it. I just got some good backpacks. Are there any good Did ones you? that way? I didn't see anything much. No? There's out. another community sale overall. Water set. Already yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? <laughs> nice. I hit that one first. Nice, man. Good. Good luck. You too, buddy. Nice to meet you. Yep. <laughs> so I recognize you. So funny. That's so funny. What'd you find? Uh, some backpacks. Nice. Yeah. Alright guys, so so far the so far the community sale has been it's been okay. It's probably yeah. like 80, 90% kid stuff, which is fine. We just don't really deal with kid stuff. If you're like a kids clothing reseller, this is 
garage sale gold mine right now. <laughs> this would be your heaven. But for us, it hasn't been very, very good. We have found, uh, we found two buys so far. The first one is some Nintendo DS games. Bum, ba -da -bum. Nothing amazing. No really amazing titles in there. Usually when we look for Nintendo games, you want to look out for like the Mario's and the Pokemon and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that in there, but we only paid a dollar a game. They were asking two bucks a game and I asked if they would take a buck a game and they said yes. So at a dollar a game, there's what, 11 games? I think so. 11 games, we'll probably just throw them in, the, in a lot for like 35, 40 bucks and yeah. we'll make a little bit of money on that. I want to play this one. <laughs> but I don't have a DS. I just have a Game Boy. Not even a color. It hurts my what? eyes to play now. Too old. Too old. <laughs> and then the other buy is I got these bags. Um, the brand is Brent Haven. This one is a, see that there? This one's a backpack that holds a laptop and stuff. It's a really nice high quality bag. We've never sold this brand before, but they do seem like really nice bags. So we got the with a backpack and then another laptop case. I did pay $10 each for them, so I'm not sure how good of a buy it is. I do think we should be able to get like between $30 to $40 per bag. We'll see, I mean, they are in, she said they were never used, so I'm not sure. They do I, seem like they're in very, very good condition. I think that she wasn't lying, because mm. if you look at the bottom of them, there's nothing on, there's right. not even like dirt. Usually something being stored in the closet will even have like dust on it. It's, so pristine. they're pretty nice yeah pristine so. pristine <laughs> so yeah i think we're going to we're going to keep driving around this neighborhood and we're, we're just going to drive past the sales and see if there's anything that catches our eye we've been skipping the ones that are just baby clothing let's go it's only nine o'clock so we'll keep going I won't no I won't shed a tear just as long as you stand couple more finds. What'd you find, babe? Okay, so... Oh, these are getting a little dirt everywhere. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right, that's all right. <laughs> Someone was saying on Instagram that jeans are selling really well for them. And I know for us that the women's high-waisted older jeans sell well. True. So I got a pair of Levi's. There you go. Some mom jeans? Yeah, some mom jeans. They're slim, tapered. I looked it up. The comps are sitting between $20 and $40, just Whoa. depending. So. I don't know. I mean, I've gone for a dollar, so maybe it'd be safe to say 20 to $25. Maybe we'll list it for a little higher and take a best offer at $20 nice. to $25. Maybe we'll list it at like $29.99 or something. When it's only a yeah. dollar, it's worth the gamble, you know? Yeah. Same thing with these. These were only a dollar as well. Not in the best condition, but you guys know Doc Martens. Them Docky M's. <laughs> <laughs> Little DMs on the side. And then on the bottom, they usually say made in England somewhere, so. But the soles are in really good condition. They're just dirty. They're not bad. Yeah. Again, a dollar, they're at least 30 bucks, so. Take them dirty shoes. I don't wanna, I don't wanna touch that, honestly. <laughs> Ew. Next sale, let's go. So weird, just went to another garage sale and I picked up another Brent Haven bag. <laughs> this one is new with tags. Crazy. Look at that, so cool. This one, um, this one was actually cheaper. I only paid $5 for this one. So the lowest new with tags listed item of this same bag is $100 plus. What is that? 106 bucks. Doesn't mean that's what we're gonna get for it, but we'll probably list it around maybe 80, 90 bucks and I'm sure we'll get that, so. That was a really good find for five bucks. <laughs> I bought myself a pair of ankle boots. Cute. <laughs> They're Clarks, they'll last forever. A similar pair can go for $30. Oh, nice. But you're keeping those for yourself? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And we're home. We're back. No more garage sales. We found everything that we're gonna find for today. So yeah. now we're home. Photo. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Mochi says hi. So yeah, I guess we'll just hang out at home until the appointment to get my nose cracked. Ah, that's right. Crack, 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 crack. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. We just pulled up to Dr. Thomas's office. About to go in there and get my nose punched off. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So we'll see how this goes. I was telling Allison I was testing my nose out so far right now 
so I've got like 40% breathing in this nostril, my right one, and about like 5-10% in this one. It's been that way since about middle school. I mean, it's progressively gotten worse and worse as the nose has been broken many times, but um, yeah, we'll see. Right. I mean, <laughs> if this fixes me, I'll be super happy. Classic. I'm a little bit nervous, fingers crossed. I wrote my living will before I came. Oh my God. <laughs> my name is Dr. Bruce Thomas and this is Ryan. And today we're going to do a consultation, examination, and a chiropractic adjustment that includes cranial facial release. That's what it's called, cranial facial, facial release. release. I think I called it like nose cracking or something. <laughs> it's not, it might kind of sound like that, but <laughs> it'll be more, that's actually cranial facial release is the actual name of the technique. Okay, cool. Also, I see in your past that, or for what you're here today is breathing issues, but in your yeah. past it was a result of possibly having the nose broken a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, which is really, uh, that last injury made a difference. Yeah, right? that was a bad one. It was a knee, knee to the face. And there were many incidences of minor traumas from boxing and wrestling over the years. Yes. Yeah. And you've treated yourself as best you can with uh, over-the-counter mouth appliances and breathing strips. Right, yep. You have had chiropractic care in the past, I see. You saw Dr. Linda? Rich, yeah. And uh, Rich. that helps? Yeah. yeah, for sure. It would have been in 2004. I was a, it was a wrestling injury. Um, I got picked up and I got slammed onto my neck, onto my head and neck, and the entire left part of my body, arm to leg, went completely paralyzed, numb, on the mat. Let's stop for a minute and record <laughs> that. Wrestling, 2004? 2004, yeah. Slammed to the mat? Yeah, so it was on the, on the right side of my neck I got slammed, but the left side of my body went numb. Never sought treatment? I've never had, just, I mean, I've had chiropractic care after Allison and I started dating, but... You never saw treatment for the automobile accidents? No, never. All right. So if you slide back here. Hey, woo, -woo. <laughs> Otherwise, I may... <laughs> Good one. <Hey>, uh. <laughs> There's three of them here. You know where my thumbs are? Uh-huh. You know, I've done this check. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. Lean to the left, Ryan. It separates. Now lean to the right comes together. This is normal. And on normal people, they come together on both sides. When gotcha. this is separating, that tells me the sacrum is gone like this in the back. And the ilium has come back with it a little bit. So when you lean into it, mechanically it misbehaves when the, the two points separate. do when it comes time and I'll tell you again you're gonna blow your air out okay I got it all set and I'm ready and then uh, you're gonna as you blow it out mm -hmm. you're gonna elevate your feet when you take a once you finish your breath in mm -hmm. and then when the feet come up that's my cue Tighten this. Deep breath in. Blow it out. Bring your toes up. You feel it go back to your back of your throat? Did it hurt you? No. Uh, no. Did it crack? Yes. Holy sh! <laughs> okay. How do you feel? So that was insane. Wow. <laughs> uh, you know, that's how people... I mean, you explained it, but I didn't, I was, I didn't expect it to feel like that. You can't explain it, but you, you were it felt mentally like my, ready for it. it. Felt like my, it. Yeah, it felt like my whole head went, like my whole head got two times bigger and then came back down. The balloon I can breathe way better already. Yeah, I haven't got the bad side yet. You get, look at that. Whoa. That's oh my nice, God. dude. <laughs> Do that. I can't believe you're making that sound with your nose. I've never heard that before. He may be used to breathing through his mouth without to tape his mouth shut tonight. <laughs> you can actually breathe through your nose. 
Was it worth it? 100%. Yeah, thank you. That was really good. You did great. Back home, that procedure was, it was, it was pretty amazing actually. Um, I could, I will say I could breathe like five to 10 times better right after he did it. Wow. And now, still now I can breathe probably twice as well as I could when we went in there. Um, it is a process. You got to go back. What do you say? It's like 16 times or something like that for the full for the full long effect lasting right almost permanent effect. So I'm gonna keep doing it and we'll see how well it helps me But it was a pretty incredible feeling Immediately after if anybody's had LASIK eye surgery, it's kind of like the the breathing equivalent of that <laughs> So yeah, but side note something amazing just happened I'm so excited one second what happened? YouTube, 15,000 subs! 15,000 subs! Ah! 15,000 subscribers! That's insane! Hey. I didn't even think we'd have 500 ever, you know? Like, what? This is to 15,000 subscribers. This is for you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Here's to 100,000. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Woo. Thanks so much guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>